high is too high. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. That's a quote from Marianne Williamson, quoted again and again by the greats of the greats of this world like Nelson Mandela. It was in June of 2015 when young, entrepreneurial, inspiring youth formed Mountain Slayers of Uganda, an establishment meant to inspire and enthrall travelers from all over the world to visit this scenic place, home to over a thousand species of birds. Not three species, we don't just have the crested crane, the chicken and the pigeon, we have over 3,000 species of birds. This wonderful country, Uganda. In June, the following year, 2016, I decided to visit Mount Renzori. Mount Renzori straddles across Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Together with members of the Babishai Niwe Poetry Foundation, we thought poetry on the mountain. Which mountain? Why not Mountains of the Moon? Derived its name because of its snow-capped peak, standing at 5,109 meters above sea level. On the way to Kasese, where Mount Renzori lies, I received several calls from the Vice President of Education of Kampala Toastmasters Club at the time. Beverly, where are you? We're holding elections. You have been nominated for almost every office. Vice President of Education, Vice President of Membership, Vice President of Public Relations. That was important. But right at that moment, it was inconsequential because I was headed for something bigger. We should always work towards something bigger than yourself, leaving distractions behind us. Arriving at the base of Mount Renzori, there's a curtain of tendrils that separates you from Kasese town. And if you're pursuing a vision, something bigger, bigger, and bigger than yourself, you need to separate yourself from that which you have left behind. I remember as we started our journey, enamored, it was magnificent. We were surrounded by an orchestra of unnamed birds, a chorus of butterflies flitting around our feet. Nothing compared. This was a space where no human had control over something bigger. Have you pursued something so great that it almost leaves you paralyzed? That's a vision. That's purpose. And when you do, make sure you're not alone. Don't take this journey alone. Go with a guide. Our guide on Mount Renzori for our six-hour nature walk was none other than a Mukonjo man, grandson to the first ever recorded Mukonjo to climb to the peak of Mount Renzori. The Renzori Rangers, Margarita. There are about five different ranges, and Mount Stanley is the one that stands at 5,109 meters. Originally called Masifa, it was changed to Renzori so that it was more localized towards the name Renjura of the people in the area. The guide shared wonderful stories and shared treasures with us only to be found on Renzori. Did you know that on that mountain there are three horned chameleons indigenous to Mount Renzori? And that's what happens when you're pursuing something great. You find the rarest of treasures, things you wouldn't find on an ordinary day when you're sitting around comfortably doing the same things you do every day with the same people. Step out, do something great. Get a guide who has knowledge and experience to show you treasures that you can find only when you separate yourself. We continued walking. It was glamorous. There is nothing like being in a space that is a paradise of perfection. I won't lie, there was a time when I was exhausted. It was an exhilarating journey, yes, but exhausting. My feet were numb and I couldn't move on. I was bruised, battered, broken. I told my friend Jackie, who had actually climbed the peak the previous year, that this is wonderful. We have three hours to go. I think we 
this is okay. Is it all right for us to turn back? I just could not. My feet were numb. That's when the guide said, just look ahead. And I did. There ahead of me was water, melted snow, streaming down. Nothing purer than crystallized liquid perfection. We've all enjoyed Renzori products, haven't we? Did you know that Renzori water was actually derived from that melted snow from Mount Renzori? That's what I got to know when I was there. We tasted it. Liquid perfection. That's what you find when you pursue your purpose, a vision, when you separate yourself. Because Mount Renzori holds treasures that are unique to that place. Your vision holds treasures unique to your precious purpose. Go towards something bigger than yourself. Go with a team. We had porters. I know there's a team traveling to the peak of Mount Renzori next week. If I told them, would you like me to engage you as a porter? They would look at me dressed and say, thank you, but you don't quite qualify. Understandably, the porters we had were qualified. They were sturdy. They were secure. They knew where they were going. They had significant experience. And they were really helpful when we were exhausted. Some more stories we heard was that in the olden days, traditionally, for men to show their prowess, they had to carry Bakonjo women across certain parts of the mountain to show that they were fit to be men, to be husbands, to be carers of people. Pursue something bigger than yourself. Separate yourself from what you knew. On the journey to Mount Renzori, I received another call telling me, You've been elected as the Vice President Public Relations of Kampala Toastmasters Club. That was important. But at that moment, it was inconsequential because I was pursuing a purpose that was greater, something that was going to change and transform me forever. We need to go to a place that is transformational. And when you do, renew your mind every day. Visiting Renzori isn't enough. But igniting yourself into what inspired you, renewing your mind every day, becoming a person that's unrecognizable because you know what it means to be great. It's about greatness every day, whether it's drawing out plans for the day, whether it's meeting with your team to plan strategically, whether it's learning and listening to great people all over the world, whether it's learning more about your craft or even taking a break just to meditate. That's what it means. So go to your Renzori and every day transform yourself because greatness is a daily habit. It's June. There are people summiting Mount Renzori next week. How about you? Find your Mount Renzori. Find that that is bigger than yourself. Find that that is transformational. I'm Beverly Nambos and St. Gilda, speaker, poet, team builder, lover of nature, long distance swimmer, and I'm here to inspire you to find your Mount Renzori. <laughs>